Excite High Tech. In this video, I'm going to do a teardown of this all-in-one PC. I want to see how it works, and I want to see if there's any parts worth salvaging. Let's get started. First, I'm going to do what I always do. See a screw, take a screw, see a screw, take a screw. And I'm going to remove all of the screws that I can find. So then that way, I can open this up. Turn it around. And what I need to do is remove this little panel. And there, it reveals two more screws. Remove those. And there, now I can open up the panel. And yet again, see a screw, take a screw, see a screw, take a screw. And there, the motherboard is now revealed. Next, what I need to do is remove some more screws, so that way I can remove all of the components. And there, all the screws are now removed, and now I'm going to go and detach all of the wires. And there we go, I got the hard drive and CD drive removed. Go a little deeper. And there, now I got these copper heat sinks removed. And there, I got the motherboard removed. This part looks very beautiful. Hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to go a little deeper and remove some of the wires and remove some of the components that are inside, such as the RAM. And there, I got the first RAM removed. And now, I got the second RAM removed. Next, I'm going to remove the speakers. And there, the speakers are removed, and these look very nice. And I'll go deeper. And there, I removed the high voltage power supply, which connects to these CFLs that are connected to the top row and the bottom row of the LCD, which is used as a backlight for the LCD monitor. And now go a little deeper. And there, I got the webcam removed. These kind of webcams are very useful. And now go a little deeper and remove the entire frame. And as you can see on the side, there are two screws on each side. I need to remove that to be able to free the monitor. And there, the monitor is now released. This right here is a serial number of this LCD. I can look this up online and find a controller board to be able to power this LCD. And here is all the components that I've salvaged from the computer, some of which are useful and some of which are not. This high voltage power supply might be useful to power these CFLs in case if I buy a controller board that does not have this kind of power supply. If it does come with one, I won't use it. If not, then this will be ready. This webcam is also very useful. This little circuit will control the touchscreen on this monitor. If the controller board doesn't come with one, I can always use this one. And I'll also salvage these speakers, and these speakers are very good. And this right here is a hard drive. This hard drive connects to the operating system. Usually you can't do anything with those, so it's a bad hard drive. Otherwise, I'll just salvage it for components, such as a new Dominion magnet inside. These SATA cables are also very useful. And this little CD drive is completely useless, except for a few components inside. And this motherboard is completely useless, except for maybe a few surface mount components, such as these capacitors and a little buzzer and this little CMOS battery. I might use some of these components for something. Otherwise, I'll just use the entire motherboard as an art piece, since in my opinion, I think this looks beautiful. I have right here this copper fan heat sinks, and I can definitely use this for cooling down projects. If not, I'll just salvage for the copper. These circuits over here are completely useless, I'll just salvage it for gold. And as you can see, this connector here is made out of pure gold. 
this little device right here I find very interesting. I could possibly use this as an accessory to attach to a computer to use for an audio jack and extra USB connections. And I can take these jumper wires and connect it to these sockets and I can connect it to a circuit. Or I can connect these jumper wires to a breadboard to do some prototyping. And of course, I got a bunch of screws. Screws are always useful. And this heatsink, I can definitely use this heatsink for something. And this webcam right here, if you look closely, you can see the cable that is connected to it. There's these four wires that typically will connect to a USB connection. And then these other wires are completely useless. So what I'm going to do is just simply disconnect them. And these remaining wires can connect directly to a USB cable. And I can plug this webcam into a computer and use it as a webcam. And there you have it. Now you know what's inside of an all-in-one PC and you know how it works and what kind of components that are worth salvaging. Thank you for watching SciTitech. I hope you learned something new and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, click on the bell icon to be notified of future SciTitech videos. To the next tech, goodbye.